The Creature Commando's first reactions are in, and it's looking pretty damn good. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. My name is James. Thanks for stopping by. If you're looking forward to Creature Commandos and or the new DCU, hit that subscribe button because we're going to be talking about it all the time on this channel. We're going to do reviews after every episode and hopefully some little stories, videos in between each episode. I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen any of them yet. I'm looking forward to watching it weekly. I love the weekly format of these things and I can't wait. The episode lengths I think have been leaked a little bit. They're not too long. They're right up my alley and I can't wait to dive into the deranged mind of James Gunn once again with Creature Commandos which I believe is something that is fitting for him right up his alley. I loved his Suicide Squad and I thought Peacemaker was a blast. So what is in store for us with Creature Commandos? Well, it's the beginning of the DCU. This is going to set the stage for what's to come. Maybe, maybe not. We know Superman is like the official, official beginning of the DCU. Like that's the one, that's the movie that's going to kick it off. But Creature Commandos is the beginning. And we're going to meet Rick Flagg Sr., who is going to be the Nick Fury of the DCU. And when I say that, I don't mean identical, obviously, but he's going to, you know, show up in all everything so far, right? He's in Creature Commandos, he's in Peacemaker Season 2, has a big role in Peacemaker Season 2, and of course will have a role in Superman, and I can't wait to see what they do there, especially when he's going to learn about what happened to his son in the Suicide Squad at the hands of Peacemaker. Cannot wait! We're going to talk about that later. Let's get Creature Commandos first reviews, first reactions. The embargo lifted today. Rotten Tomatoes went up. The first, the first few that went on there were all perfect. It was a 100% percent Rotten Tomato score, which was phenomenal. It has since, as the time of this recording, it has since dropped. And when I'm recording this, it is at a, still a mind-blowing 93%. Now, this is only based on 15 reviews, so I wouldn't get too you know, excited over this. I, I, I'm certain it's going to drop still a little bit, but 93% is pretty phenomenal for this. I can't wait to see what IGN gave it. Pro, pro, gave it probably like a one or a two maybe but let's take a look at some of these reviews on Rotten Tomatoes discuss and is this show going to be something to what I am anticipating to be very exciting to watch weekly or is it going to be a slog but 93% would suggest that it's an absolute blast first up we got M.N. Miller from Film Focus Online James Gunn animated series is a feverishly funny and devilishly cool Fico Kenyano, the DCU starts off with a bang. Thanks. Creature Commandos is funny, violent, and gory while still being serious with emotions at its core. We get to learn more of each member bit by bit, and the music is great, weird, splashy, and fun. This is Ryan Britt. If DC was going to drop the nihilistic and brutal aspects of DC's previously shared continuity, that's not happening here. If anything, Creature Commandos doubles down on the old grim dark dceu vibe rather than forging a new path very interesting from ryan Britt, who did not like it uh or gave it a negative re uh, review cassandra fight felt this from black girl nerd says creature commandos is righteous good time with all of james gunn's trademark brilliance for storytelling and humanizing the strangest most obscure characters Zach Pope from Zach Pope Reviews, an excellent and awesome start to the DCU. Ben Gibbons from Screen Rant says, Creature Commandos marks the official start of the DCU, and with a team of monstrous anti-heroes leading the charge, it's off to a good start. Nate Richard from Collider, if this series is any indication of the future of the DC universe, is in very good hands. Creature Commandos, uh, Charlie Ridgely, from comicbook.com, Creature Commandos channels the quintessential hard and dark humor that have become calling cards of James Gunn's found family stories and delivers the best possible start to the budding DCU. Ernesto Valenzuela from Discussing Film, Creature Commandos is a colorful and action-packed introduction to the new DCU franchise, but it also already feels like the creator James Gunn is repeating old lazy habits. Ruben Barron from Looper.com, Gunn knows how to keep this material entertainingly twisted while still treating it as silly, treating his silly characters with emotional sincerity. The only major downside is that the show is doing almost nothing new. That seems to be a theme now. Lauren Melici from Total Film, 
While it's easy to compare and contrast with Gunn's other works, Creature Commando stands on its own. Yes, it's the same formula that we've come to expect from Gunn, but there's just something different here. Okay, there's a twist on that one. Tyler Robertson from IGN Movies, James Gunn's classic recipe of lovable weirdos, great music, and lots of jokes and violence is on full display, but in a new, fresh way that's presented well in animation. Josh Wilding from comicbookmovie.com, delightfully deranged creature commandos is a crazy, captivating, instant classic that puts the new DCU on the map while offering fans an endless list of reasons to return each week. James Gunn has delivered a monstrous must-see. Tessa Smith, this series has James Gunn written all over it. He knows how to take obscure comic book characters and create the perfect ensemble. It's bloody, dirty, and includes several well-placed needle drops. And top critic Jared Jones from AV Club says, even with all these messy feelings and messier body parts flying around, Gunn's Monster Mash achieves the level of gravitas it so often seeks, even when he's running in circles. The guy still knows how to deliver cheap thrills. So it sounds like classic James Gunn. If you're into James Gunn, you're probably going to like Creature Commandos. If you don't like James Gunn, you probably won't like Creature Commandos. And if you kind of hit or miss on James Gunn, it sounds like you actually might be on the outside looking in and not quite enjoying this series. I think I'm going to have I made up my mind on it. I won't know until I watch it. I've enjoyed the trailers. I enjoy James Gunn's style, obviously, and I enjoy the world building and the characters that he brings together in his films. They all have like a specific charm, like a very certain James Gunn charm. Now, this saying all this, I don't expect this so much. In, I expect elements of that in Superman, but not so many, Superman to be fully James Gunn, where this is fully James Gunn. This also, from the trailers and, and the clip that they released the other day, feels almost kind of like it's a spin-off of the Suicide Squad. Like, it feels like it's still in that world. We're just taking, you know, we're not calling it the Suicide Squad we're calling it Task Force M instead of X, right? Like, it feels like it's still kind of in that world in the same vein as what he was doing there. But I'm okay with that. Like, if you like it there, I might like it here. As long as it's a good, compelling story and we move forward. I'm also excited to see how they utilize certain characters in this as well. Like, how exciting it's going to be and whatnot and where it's going to go. So I'm really, really looking forward to what James Gunn does in this DCU with Creature Commandos, with the future at stake here what, what he's got going on like this is a big step right if this if people really really enjoy this then there's a lot of good to come from this this is the beginning of hopefully something great let me know do these reviews do anything for you do they matter to be honest they don't matter to me i've already made up my mind i'm watching this series and i will judge it based on my own opinions and my own views on it. Like what other people say doesn't quite matter, but it's exciting to see this. 93%, most people like it. Again, if you like James Gunn, it looks like you're gonna like this. If you don't, you're probably not gonna be a fan. You might have to wait till Superman and hopefully then, fingers crossed, you enjoy that one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.